Welcome to the Statistic Pixel Podcast Show, one-off on the new Nintendo 3DS XL. We are all here sitting around just hanging out, talking about these brand new, pretty consoles. This is the old one, this is the new one. And this one. Oh, that's not a new one. <laughs> Zach and I are the only ones of the group to get one, and we came here today and we let John and Trevor mess around with it, and we just wanted to give you all our opinions. We may start doing this as a more on a more like review basis, more of a discussion because I don't like review scores and I just like talking about things and I think that's the way we should do it. So we're gonna start off with Zach. I'm gonna kind of catch him off guard and he's gonna tell us what he thinks of the new 3DS XL. I like it. I like it a lot so far. He likes it. Hey Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got to mess with it a lot today and- Well, thank you, Justin. I noticed uh, probably the big thing is that it loads the, everything a lot faster. Like, Smash Bros. would be the best example, which I'll just go ahead and turn it on and show you how fast it loads it up. As anyone who's played it on the normal 3DS XL knows that Smash Bros. is notorious for loading really slow. Is it really? Yeah, it's it's a heavy hitter when it comes to the hardware. Was that a, was it no pun intended right there? <laughs> heavy hitter. Yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> I, but it takes up a lot of processing power, which with the new 3DS has a lot more processing power than the old one. And... We are starting now. And here we go. <laughs> We're at Smash Bros. It only took a few seconds while the normal 3DS would take probably about 30 seconds just to get to the uh, little wow. spinning ball. Which the main thing I probably got this for was the processing power. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's me too. And because I'm one of those people that I'm like, ooh, new console, want to have to have it. <laughs> Gotta get it. Whenever they first talk, started talking about it and they said, this has double the processing power. It loads everything faster and, and whatever games have been optimized for it have better graphics. I'm like, well, that'd be pretty neat. I think Monster Hunter is like one of the few games that has been optimized for the graphics for it. Yeah. So I think what we should do, and we're, we're kind of new at this, I think we should just kind of give it a no thumbs up, one thumbs up, two thumbs up, whether or not, you know, your opinions on it. I know... We're all going to have varying opinions on whether or not you should get it or not. I mean, we I think we all agree that it's a, a great it's a great little piece of like device, yeah, don't we? Very very sturdy piece of equipment here. I said I actually really like it. Do you? From my uh, from my uh, sounds tink, sarcastic. My tinkering with it right there. From my, my quiet tinkering, I was just having. I I definitely like it a lot. It's it's uh, it just feels a lot more sturdier than you know the other 3ds XL, which was a big upgrade from the smaller oh, one. Yeah, you know, the, the the original one felt like a toy in my hand. I could snap it in half, you know, without putting too much pressure on it at all. But, uh, yeah, I definitely like that. I like the C buttons. Uh, I didn't even notice this last time, but the new buttons that they've added yeah. on the shoulder, the ZL just, and ZR. It feels better, yeah. Yeah, those are very interesting. Um, I like the colored buttons on it. I really like how they've removed the, the three right front there. home buttons, or the start, select, and home in lieu for just a home button in the middle there. Um, there's a few things like that. Like I can say I really like the color of it, too. Uh, the red one looks really cool, too. I wish we had one to show off. Yeah. But, yeah. Red so one was a hot commodity, apparently, because yeah. a lot of them sold out in a lot of places. Um, um, what I like the most is the the little nubby, the, the C button. Um, and I also really like how they put everything down, like oh, all the, yeah, the buttons like down too. here. Um especially that like i've said before um well i have longer fingers so with that one i'd like be hitting the button like you know if i was just thinking or like if i'm playing pokemon because that's mostly what i play on my yeah, 3ds I, I like you know i'll be tapping back here and if i tap too hard I'm gonna pop the game out i've See, actually done that before <laughs> i guess my hands are just too small because i never did that i didn't do it whenever i was playing but a lot of times whenever i would pick the pick my 3ds up i would push the middle i would put my thumb in the middle yeah, and i'd pop the game right out and i put it in sleep yeah mode i keep my uh, almost in my i almost PS3. think we should just like put this as a discussion of first world problems <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, but, man. but yeah those buttons since they moved the buttons from over here the start and select it's a whole lot easier than trying to like mash down on the side oh of yeah one of the buttons absolutely and, now now you two didn't get one like would you Messing around with this, does this make you guys want to go out and get one, or you, can you still wait? Or you just you know, um, wait and see. Type for of thing? me, I can definitely wait because 
And don't get me wrong, I love having the newest technology. Yeah. I always have. There's not a lot of software out <coughs> on it yet. Exactly. Right now, the only confirmed exclusive is uh, Xenoblade. Yeah. And, uh, Can't wait. Yeah, no, I'm not, not dogging that because uh, it looks like a great game. I'm sure it will be. But, you know, as of right now, it just, it doesn't, it's not an essential upgrade for me because I've got a lot of other stuff I'm saving for. So it's just, I would love to have it. It's nice. I like it a lot more than the original XL, but it's not necessary Absolutely. for me right now. What about you, John? Put an exclusive Pokemon game on it and I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of time. They should just make it a 3D Pokemon game. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. <laughs> like anything that would be. Probably with the processing power, anything exclusively 3D would be. Yeah, that's. I, I really hope they do a better job with the new 3DS, you know, than they did with the DSi, which they, they tried to do the same thing with the DSi, make it kind of seem like it was exclusive, but they didn't really do it. So, I'm I'm happy I've got it because I've got it out of the way. Yeah, and, absolutely. And I'm hoping that E3 or soon, because there would probably be like some Nintendo Direct soon that they announce some. Yeah. Oh, I'm some sure games there will be. I'll, I'll end up buying one outright <laughs> at some point whenever I have a little, yeah, little bit more extra absolutely. money. I mean, I feel like they could go farther with this, and they could the DSI, considering. Yeah, you know, absolutely. The, I, I feel like yeah. I feel like this yeah. right here is what they envisioned when they first released the three DS. Right. At least I hope so. Yeah. Just give us some awesome face plates, especially that yeah, Majora's that, Mask face plate. Me being a big computer nerd, processing power is always absolutely. always a thumbs up for me. Speaking of, speaking of thumbs up, I think that's how we're gonna rate everything. I'm just gonna go around the table, and then everyone's gonna give their opinions and. You know, we're going to give it two thumbs up, one thumb up, or no thumbs up, or you just, you don't even have to do that. Thumbs you know, down. Thumbs down, absolutely. <laughs> Zach, would you, how many thumbs up would you give the new 3DS XL? I'd give it two thumbs two up. Thumbs Even up. though there's not a lot of stuff out for it yet now, I still like it a whole lot, so I figure two thumbs up in my book. What about you, John Boy? Until, until, you know, it gets more games out and everything else, I'll just give it one. I also give it one thumbs up. You while, did too. while I did love, uh, <laughs> while I do love the device, it's not a necessary upgrade in my book as of the moment. Yeah, I agree, and I and I got one. This is coming from a guy who says that I give it one, and that you know it's once we get some amazing games like when Xenoblade comes out, and I'm playing this Wii game on this thing, and I'll be telling you guys why it should be two thumbs up. Yeah. And we want to give you guys, we want you guys to give us a thumbs up on Facebook, like, share, love this video. Love us. Please love us. We love you. Grow with us. This is a new thing for us. We're just trying to grow and get better with you guys. We thank you for watching. Check us out at youtube.com slash sadisticpixel. Check out our Twitter page. And then go to our you know website, mm -hmm. www.sadisticpixel.com. I don't know why I still do the www yeah. in there because that's not required anymore. <laughs> yeah. It shows you, shows you how I'm the old man of the group. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Take it easy, guys.